So it's that time of year again. It is. It's that time of the season. It's the time of the season. It is the season for cooler weather. Sure. In somewhere. Some yeah, somewhere. <laughs> uh, the leaves fall. Somewhere. Somewhere. Not uh, here. Not exactly specifically here. Um, and, um, and pumpkin things become prevalent. They do. Lots of pumpkin things. Pumpkin <laughs> spices, uh, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin pie at some point, and also pumpkin... Pumpkin beer. Pumpkin beer. One of your favorites, yes. right? What, oh, what my favorite category of beer. No. <laughs> not <laughs> at all. It's kind of evolved over the years, the, this whole thing. It's not quite, I don't have quite the <laughs> uh, disdain okay. that we make it out to be, cause I th- but I think that's kind of fun. That's where we have some fun. Yeah. We are going to have a little bit of fun. Something doesn't feel quite right here, though. Does something feel like a little bit off? Like we it, need it, a little something? It, it does. I don't, I'm not quite festive enough. Maybe. Ah, Oh, there we go. Look at that. Even the colors in the beverages fit yeah, right in. They do. Wow. It they feels do. like fall here now. So as we do as an annual tradition, I think last year we missed it. So you got off light last year. We have done I'm a lot man. of pumpkin beers here at About Beverages. Definitely check on uh, YouTube here. Uh, look for all the things you can find uh, when it comes to pumpkin beers. And also uh, definitely go back into the archives at aboutbeverages.com. Check out there too. But we've got new pumpkin beers this year and we'll even do some next week as well. So look out for that. But today, two pumpkin beers for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are aboutbeverages.com. And the beverages that we're about today are both pumpkin. And one of them is... The first one will be the uh, Howling Gourds Pumpkin Ale from Trader Joe's. And the second one will be the O'Fallon Pumpkin Beer. Pumpkin Beer. That's right. Just pumpkin beer. Enough said. I see the word fall in O'Fallon and I just want to say O'Fall, but probably not right. No. So we're going to say O'Fallon. And uh, yeah, so these are... um, uh, neither one of these we've had before. Correct. They, we've had pumpkin beer from Trader Joe's in the past, but it was not this specific one. This is new uh, to Trader Joe's the last couple of years. And then the o, uh, Fallon, which will be the second one we'll try because we're s- just kind of guessing. That's probably going to have a little bit more to it. So we're going to start that maybe. one second. Yeah. But that's one that came highly recommended from, right? Or you just found it at? I did just find it at Tap and Bottle. Okay. I said I happened right. to see that they were getting in some new stock of things. I saw okay. this one. Had not even had anything from this brewery, though, honestly, I believe. Uh, but I already, when I tweeted about it, like I said, if you're following us on Twitter, I'd appreciate that. Uh, when I did tweet about it, um, I already had uh, someone mention, they're like, oh, that's from my neck of the woods. I can't wait to see what you think of it. So I was like okay. already a little bit of uh, some some street cred from the uh, O'Fallon crowd. So it was kind of, that was kind of nice. All right. Uh, and I, what I liked about it, I'll tell you in a minute when we get to it. Yes. I'm going to hold that back. It's a teaser right there. It's a there. teaser. Uh, so this one specifically, does this one also use the the biggest thing we always like when it comes to a pumpkin <laughs> beer? Do they actually use real pumpkin? Because that I, you is know, one of our I big things. I don't know. Okay. Um, doesn't specifically say. Okay. I will look here as we go yeah, to take something our first sip and find out that information. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't believe so, but... It's always possible. So seven dollars for the six pack, I believe. That Trader is correct. Yep. This is in stock right now. This that is, is that is also correct. Okay. But for how much longer? Who knows? Because okay. that's how things go. <clears throat> Very clear. Uh, honey, honey colored. Not quite pumpkin. I don't want to say pumpkin. No, but it's. Co- say I'd say copper. Copper? I'm going copper. That's orangey. a shiny new copper penny. Oh I yes. Have, yeah. I haven't seen that kind of. No, I don't, shade I don't in a think while. it's honey. That's more yellow. Well, I guess honey can be, you can have some mesquite honeys get, or something. That I was yeah, going to say, okay. yeah, that's kind of right. what I was thinking. But you're I right. See what you're yeah, it's at. not a classic honey. I, we're both correct. Okay. Yes. That's right. As it usually is. <laughs> it's our website. We're both right. <laughs> we're both right. <laughs> also a good thing for a shirt. Check out our merch store. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we've got in the aroma. Honestly, a yeah. good blend, of, good blend of spices, like yeah. in the aroma. Like I said, you're not going to get a lot else there. Like I said, definitely your classic pumpkin spices. You know, clove, yeah. uh, cinnamon. Uh, you know, maybe a little cardamom or something in there. Like I said, this, those kind of nice spices. But it smells good, not overly powered. Like sometimes, if you go too far with some of those, it can turn into like almost like smelling like aftershave. Uh, like we've talked about yeah. that before, it can get uh, a little funky that way. But it smells good. We could not find any information if this one is actually using pumpkin in the mash or as part of any of the process, which is usually one of the things. Uh, we like to point out because we have definitely found if you have that uh, as part of the beer, usually you get a little more mouthfeel, a little more right. creaminess that does actually add something to it. It's, adds not depth. Just, it's not just something that you can throw out there. Like I said, it actually does add something. We've had plenty of pumpkin beers that are just the spice mix and it's like, yep, you can tell. 
So. Yeah. I like the balance and I like that it has a lower, kind of a lower note to it. Mm-hmm. It's not like all that like super cinnamony and, and sweet. There's yeah, there's a little something. There's like a little brown sugar kind of like yeah. lower note, molasses. So it's or something a good, like good, too. good blend yeah. at least uh, aromatically. We like that. All right. Well, let's see if those aromatics uh, transfer over to the taste. I'm going to be honest. I've had several sips. I'm not a fan of the flavor. No. Okay. There's something about it in the middle of my tongue. Like the first sip, I was like, oh, that's pretty good. There's something that is a little fakey in there that like I didn't quite like as much. That was a little not quite bitter because it was a little too far forward, but there was something like artificial, not quite medicinal in there. And then the more I have each every sip, that seems to keep building a little bit. There are some other nice spices that I do like, like some of the yeah. like so the the general like aromatics, like on the soft palate, <laughs> like that, like are still like good in what I got in the aroma that I like. But there's something in the middle of my tongue that just kind of keeps like building that I'm not uh, enjoying as much, unfortunately. I, uh, I, I'm, I agree with you. Uh, Cause that first I was like, Oh, the, the, the spice blend that I was in the nose, it's in the taste. It's just missing. It's just missing some pumpkin. Yeah. But it's yeah, the more you have it, sure. I don't know if I'm picking up on everything that you're saying, but the, it is, it's getting heavier mm-hmm. and it doesn't have, um, I think if it, if it actually had something, maybe a little more mouthfeel, a little more body or something, or it just needs something to kind of clean it. Uh, to to clean that layer before you put another layer on, and it, that's just it's just building a little bit. Yeah, it but needs there like, are yeah. Go, no, I was say it needs some viscosity just to kind of like clean up like what it's being allowed to sit in the right. middle of my tongue should just be like a natural like maybe almost like bitterness that goes in the back. But unfortunately, it's just like it's 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 set up campgrounds in the middle of my tongue, and I'm not there. There's some squatters' rights on the middle of my tongue with this pumpkin pie spice, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. They need to move. There is some good. There's some good in there. Yes. It's just, it just, it, it's, there's like, it, it needs to clean itself. Yeah. <laughs> it needs to be, it, 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 that doesn't sound <laughs> right. Like, I like it. No, the, no it needs to, it needs yeah. to allow your palate to be like refreshed, I guess, before yeah. that next sip comes in. Yeah, so. I would, I would agree. Yeah. There's nothing there to kind of, yeah, to kind of smooth that out a little yep. bit. It needs, it needs something. And if there is any pumpkin in there, like I said, you're more than welcome to let us know. Like I said, we looked up what we could uh, and we even have someone that works for Trader Joe's here and we still couldn't find uh, the information. Um, so, but if you do happen to know exactly if they do use it, what brewery it's made by, like I said, sometimes that information will lead you to believe like you know uh what actually is in it if there is they didn't use enough right that's all i will say about <laughs> right. that yeah, needs yeah more. if there is it like it's not like if you tell me there is some in there i'll be like oh well now it's delicious it's like no whatever it is they didn't use enough of it or whatever so yeah all right so we're gonna move on to number two this is the o'fallon pumpkin beer uh this is a new brewery to me i believe they are out of uh i thought Oh, I thought it was right here. It always takes a little extra second of time here. Um, brewery. I thought they were in St. Louis County. Okay. I thought they were over in that area in Missouri. Missouri. Okay. All right. So they are in Missouri. Uh, I picked this one up specifically because they talked about a lot of things on here that I like when they talk about a pumpkin beer. Um, they have so much real pumpkin in the mash that it adds hours to the actual brew time. Um, and I believe this one also uses... Yes, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, your usual other spices and stuff in there as well. So, but anyway, the big thing was, hey, they're actually using pumpkin in this beer. Uh, let's let's see what we can do with that. That was always we have it in a can. That's true too. I could not oh find a gosh. picture of this in a can. Yeah, uh, which was uh, unfortunate, uh, since that is obviously as you can see. That's what we have sixteen we have ounce can. pint can. Uh, I think this is around four dollars for the pint. It wasn't like super expensive. Wow, another super clear pumpkin beer, but definitely different in color. Definitely darker. Yeah, definitely much darker here. You can see. Big change there. This is almost getting like amber, like yeah, ish. Yeah, definitely. It makes me think of an amber ale. Yeah, um, a very clear amber ale. But yeah, but still, an amber ale. still very, very clear. Yeah. All right. So we see what uh, we get from the aroma. I'm looking forward to it. All right. So my initial reaction, we we definitely did take a little extra time sniffing here. Uh, this is squash forward. Okay. I'm definitely getting more like just kind of layers of just you know general like pumpkin squash. Uh, kind of aroma and then okay. there are very light notes of like so there's some brown sugar and then the spices are almost indiscernible they are so light in there like it is it took me many many a whiff uh to pick up any of the spices okay <laughs> does that mean you get literally zero I, normally with pumpkin beers yeah sometimes to the detriment usually sure. to the, you get an overwhelming abundance of spice of course I am having a hard time finding anything in there. Yeah. I, I, it's light. I, like I said, I, I, I'm getting I get, something. I get a little grain maybe. Okay. And a little dustiness. Really? I, Interesting. Okay. 
Let me. Maybe I have a. We just. These are should be their I, fresh glasses. They should be. No, that's yeah, that's similar. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the same. That's the same. Yeah, thing. like I said, I'm getting a little bit more of like I said again. There's that little bit of like again a squash. It does have a little bit of a light aroma. Like I said, there's that vegetable aroma squash, and like I said, and then very light spices and a little bit more of that really low down molasses brown sugar like sweet is what I get. In I can okay. I like I said the I when you said very very squash forward that helped me because I. <laughs> I, well, the pumpkin king should know. The pumpkin king should know, and he does. I and I, so I'm gonna say then. Okay, I'm okay. You don't have to retract your statement. No, I'm not, not. I'm not retracting. Okay. Maybe I'm not retracting. Maybe, maybe it's all in the taste. Let's. Should we go to that? Hope. Yes. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. That's better. That is all in the taste. That is actually that's yeah. pretty delicious. I kind of yeah. like it. Yeah, that's much better. There is actually some pretty good flavor. Like I said, the previous one that we talked about, like I said, where I was having an issue with what was going on. This, I am loving what it's giving me in the middle. Like I said, it is definitely a little bit of that lighter fruit uh, kind of in the middle of my tongue, almost a light tang. I'm getting some of the spices. I'm getting all those things like I said, and there's a nice little body to this. that's a little bit heavier. It's not creamy or anything like that, but there's definitely no. a little more late to it, uh, weight to it, I should say. And that's is, is really good. Yeah, this this beer is all about the flavor. There's like, almost the exact a, opposite. a bitter it was almost like a back on the sour bar, like a set little of that sour. We used to call it sour, but it, and, and it's, it's not quite bitter, but it definitely lights. I would say it lights up the sour bar. Yeah, there is a little pinch back there as well. Yeah, like I said, that yeah. middle of the tongue to the back is like where there's a nice little uh, ramping up of that. Yeah, kind of sour tang. And it, it kind of is like it's not quite as, uh, you know, pumpkin pie crust as some things that we've had. Like I said, some of our favorites, we've done a lot of beers. Like I said, again, please go in the archives at about beverages. Check all those out. Uh, Pugsley Smash Pumpkin is one that comes to mind from Shipyard Brewing. That one was literally like buttered pie crust and pumpkin yeah. in, a, in a bottle, which was fantastic. This has some of that, not quite as forward, but I actually really like the flavor of this. But unfor- like I said, the aroma, unfortunately, is very is underwhelming. I liked it a little more than you did, but it is underwhelming. Yeah, it is very, very <clears throat> muted aroma wise. At least just maybe my expect. I, but we've had enough pumpkin beer. I usually know I know what yes. good ones and bad ones. Uh-huh. And usually they, they're just going to knock you over the head or at least present their spices to you I, I don't i didn't even feel that that was the case with this but yeah the flavor wise it, it has some good flavor i would like a little more body considering they say they use a lot of pumpkin yeah. in there so i'd like a little bit more of that but it is uh, in the, the, the flavor is good i it's uh, worlds better than the yes i would definitely agree like i said yeah i could use a little more body but yeah flavor is it's a it's world's it's world's better than the aroma. It does. It has a little bit of sweet to it. There's a there there's some yeah there's some good flavors going on in there. So, which is what it's really all. I mean, it's not you know you certainly enjoy the aroma of a beer, but it's yeah. It, it, it's I think not, I mean uh, obviously it needs to be both. Like it should right. be. Like I said, you should be enticed first by the aroma right. using all of your senses. You know, you sight. You know, smell. You're not really using sound. Like sound. How does it sound? Talk to me. Slightly bubbly. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, that is definitely a major component. Like I said, yeah. we were very turned off. So. <clears throat> it's excuse me it's, at least they were good enough that they brought the rest of it that kind of you know yeah it's brought me in the back flavor. into it and picked you up a little bit yes yeah no no <laughs> it's uh, i definitely uh it, it it has some good flavor absolutely uh and hopefully also what will have uh good flavors i don't know is Appeal our website is yeah. our website about beverages.com that is where you can check out all of our pumpkin beer podcasts and other podcasts and videos that we have done over the last 12 years since we've had the website we appreciate everybody's support uh lately doing uh going forward with everything that we have been doing it has been quite amazing to see uh we also have obviously youtube you can subscribe to if you want the latest videos uh those are always up there and then you can know right away when they post, you'll get a little notice because you've subscribed and we'd uh, like to have you around for that too. You can leave a comment down there if you uh, like either of these pumpkin beers, feel that maybe, hey, maybe we tried both of these and you're like, oh my gosh, it sounds like you got a bad one because X, Y, and Z. Let us know that too. Right. Like I said, we're not, you know, definitely we, you know, try one can of it. We may have gotten a bad one and it's very possible uh, as with all of these things. If you only want audio, definitely Spotify iTunes, uh, Google Podcasts, any of your favorite podcast apps, you will be able to find us there uh, and let us know where you found us to follow us because we appreciate that. Is that it? No, you don't want to forget about the three pillars. 
the three pillars of social media, you will find us on Facebook. You will also find us on Instagram and the one that we use the most, which is Twitter. Uh, we tweet live. Uh, we, we tweet right, right before we go live every Thursday evening or most Thursday evenings, most Thursday. usually around five thirty or six o'clock Pacific time. Uh, we'll let you know that, uh, that yeah, we're what we're, what we're going to be trying. Uh, that's when we record our podcasts. Go ahead. And, uh, if you join us, you'll see behind the scenes stuff. There's conversation that is about beverages, but also not about beverages. We talk about a lot of different things um, and just interact with our, our followers, our viewers, and, uh, and we just have some fun and some laughs. So please join us for that. Also, this guy, he's pretty much, he's gaming almost every day, if not every day. Pretty much. And he's, uh, you know, he'll let you know what he's going to be doing so you can work, uh, schedule your, plan your schedule so that you can hang out with about beverages. That's true. And we'll always have a featured beverage too when I'm playing those games. Who That's knows right. what those might be? You can stop in. It's a lot of a lot of weird good times. <laughs> it's still good times. But as we always say, whether we'd like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs>